Good morning. Uh, it's day two um, of Chicago. Um, it's not right when I woke up. I woke up maybe like an hour and a half ago. Um, but I woke up this morning and I was feeling just kind of like anxious and gross and just like icky. Uh, so I got up and ate some breakfast and took a shower and then I did a little bit of like stretching yoga just to see if it'll help a little bit and it did help um, I think I'm just kind of anxious because like I'm you know probably like 500 miles away and like I don't know where I am <laughs> I don't know anybody um, so I think that that's why I'm getting anxious uh, so yeah um, right now I'm just in the Airbnb uh, huh? oh um, I'm just in the Airbnb right now and uh, my mom and my sister went to Walmart because they realized we forgot some things <laughs> um, but they left when I was in the shower so I didn't go um, so yeah today we don't know exactly what the plan is, but we know for sure we're going to Hamilton tonight. Um, but we don't know if we'll be downtown in the city um, during the day or not. Uh, so we'll we will figure that out. <laughs> but yeah, um, whatever happens, I will have my camera with me today, so there will be a little bit more filming involved. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching day two. Okay, so we're downtown Chicago right now. Haley, say hi. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we're downtown Chicago right now, uh, walking to the theater, um, and I'm excited. See you uh, Haley got attacked by a branch, she said. I will film a little bit more when there's not so much for me to concentrate on. There's a lot of people. Haley, hmm. where are we? We're at Hamilton. <laughs> Sorry. Well, you heard her right. Ooh. Ah. We're at. Oh, it's upside down. We're seeing it, and I'm super excited. <laughs> this has like been the highlight of the whole trip uh, that I've been looking forward to. So. Yeah, I'm so excited. It's gonna be good. Oh. Okay, so it's the next morning after the show. I didn't film at all after the show ended because I didn't feel good. I had like a really bad headache and I just wanted to go home and lay down. So that's what I did. Um, but yeah, I loved the show. It was so good. I'm so glad I got to see it. Like, it was expensive, but it was so worth the money. If you have the chance to go see it, please do. <laughs> it was probably one of the best shows I've ever seen. Um, there was a little incident during intermission, but it had nothing to do with the show. <laughs> but, um... Well, actually, it did have a little bit to do with the show, but not the actors, the people sitting next to me. So, we got there, and we were uh, front row, second balcony. So, like, there's the floor, and then the mezzanine, and then the balcony. We were front row in that. And so, there were really good seats. Uh, and uh, we were sitting there, and we got there early, obviously. But... Uh, we were the only one in our section, so people from like up in like nosebleed seats were coming down and crossing our section just to go up and out again, which we didn't get. But they did it like four times, so we kept having to stand up and because there wasn't enough leg room for them to just crawl over, so we had to get up and get out of our seats and and uh, let them through. And then the two ladies that were sitting next to us came, and so we were like, okay, cool, maybe people won't come over here anymore because there's more people here now. Um, so then they sit down, and they're very nice ladies. Um, and then the show starts, and then like three or four minutes in, then there's a 
and Usher that comes by. My mom's sitting on the end, and Usher comes by and says, I need to see your ticket. And my mom couldn't find her, so my sister gave her hers. And she goes, okay, you're in the right seats, and then crawls over behind us, like three seats, and taps the lady sitting next to me and says, I need to see your ticket. And they were, ac they were sitting in the wrong section. Um, uh, which, with the way the seating is set up in the theater, probably isn't that hard to do. Um, but they were in the wrong section, so we had to get up and let them out, and then the people that were supposed to sit there had to come in. And so now this is, this is like ten minutes into the show <laughs> since this has happened, and, um, so we're like, okay, well, it, it's fine. Uh, we got it, we got, we got it figured out, it'll be fine. Um, and then the woman next to me takes out her phone with the brightness all the way up and the sound on and starts playing a game and is sitting there like that for most of the first act until the person behind us said, um, excuse me, ma'am, can you not? It's like getting really distracting. So she turns the sound off and turns the brightness down but keeps her phone out. And then the people behind us said, well, why are you still, we just asked you to put it away, why are you still on your phone? And she said, because it's my money, I can do what I want to. And so then they didn't say anything after that. But I was just like, I was sitting there and I was like, oh my god, this lady. Um, so then intermission, because it was distracting me too, I... I went to an, uh, an usher and said, listen, there's this lady sitting next to me. She's on her phone the entire time. She was rude to the people that asked her to, to the people behind us that asked her to turn it off. Can you please do something? And so then they must have found her in the lobby before intermission started because the girls behind us came up to us and said, oh, we, we, uh, talked to an usher and they said some people already said something so they were wondering if it was us which it was um, but then they said that they w had talked to the lady and said that they were gonna have an usher coming down the aisle to make sure she's not on her phone um, and so we were like okay good um, but then the lady comes down the stairs and of course, she didn't know that I said something. She just thought it was the girls behind me that said something and starts berating that woman. Starts berating them, saying, like, you can say whatever you want to. You're out here judging me. You guys don't know. I just lost my mother. That's why I was on my phone. To div I was diverting my feelings. Otherwise, I'd start to sit and cry. She, like, went off on these ladies. And they're, like, not, they're like my age. They're, like, my age, my size. And this woman was, like, she wasn't like heavy, but she was a bigger woman. She was taller and she was had like, yeah, she was, she shouldn't have gone off on those girls because it definitely wasn't a fair confrontation. So then I turned around and I said, wait, no, don't just yell at them. You have to yell at me too, because I also said something. And she starts going off on me. And then she asked me, she's like, you don't know, you've never lost a parent, have you? And of course I said no because I haven't, but she was like, oh, God bless you then. And I was like, all right, pay $200 to sit on your phone. That's fine. And then she goes off again, of course, because that was sassy. But it's like, you know what? That's what you did. You paid $200 to sit on your phone. <laughs> and in my head, I was thinking, you know what? Fuck you, because this was probably about four or five paychecks for me. And... I'm not, a, I'm not about to waste it, but you have $200 you can just throw around. So I was like, you know what, fuck you. Uh, and then she sits down, but intermission wasn't over, my legs hurt, so I was gonna stand a little bit anyway. And then she, like a minute later, she grabs her stuff and gets up and leaves. And then her friend that she was with comes and sits down and waits, and then intermission starts and the first lady's not back, so her friend is like, oh, what's going on? Since so she leaves too, and they didn't come back for the rest of the show. And so it's like, I almost feel bad for her friend, because her friend literally did nothing. Her friend was not on her phone. Her friend said nothing. 
she just happened to be with this with this lady um, so yeah so that was a little incident we had it just pisses me off because you know like I'm sorry that your mom died but why is that your reaction like <laughs> Like, when, you're, when someone asks you to turn off your phone, wouldn't it be like, oh, you know what, you're right, I'm sorry, and either turn it off and leave it, or like, get up and leave? Why would your reaction be, it's my money and I can do what I want to? You know? <laughs> I don't know, it was just, I don't know. Some people do what they want in theater and it's not the correct thing to do. But anyway, it was so good, it was such a good show. Like, I'm so glad that they did not, that did not take away from my experience, because it definitely didn't. Um, the experience was still just as great as I expected it to be. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> I'm just really happy that it went well, because this is the most I've ever paid for, like, for a theater experience, ever. And it's the most professional that I've ever seen, ever. So I'm just so glad that it was good, and I'm so glad that we all had a good time despite that. <laughs> Um, but then after the show, we weren't going to make it to our bus, because the show ended at 10.30, or the train. The show ended at 10.30, the train left at 10.40, and we were a 15 minute walk from the train station, so we weren't going to make it. Um, so my brother had to come get me, um, but we never gave him the address. He was going to come get the car at the Airbnb, and, uh and pick us up with it, but we never gave him the address to the Airbnb <laughs> or the number to the lockbox to get the key out. <laughs> so so we ended up having to wait, so we could have w technically waited for the next train and got on it. <laughs> uh, but we had already told them to come, so we were like, you know what, just come. <laughs> um, but yeah, but I wasn't feeling good. I had like a really bad migraine. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was... We were rushing all day yesterday because we were trying to do a lot of things yesterday. Um, or if it was just, you know, I was like way overtired and just we weren't stopping and I needed to stop. I don't know what it was, but that was why I didn't film yesterday. Um, but I'm filming now. Hi. <laughs> but yeah. Um, it was so fun. Today we've got a lot of stuff planned, so hopefully I'll be able to take my camera out for you guys. Um, but yeah, that was my last night. Uh, thanks for watching day two, and I will see you tomorrow for day three. Bye!